Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how to send DHT11 sensors temperature and humidity data to MySQL database. And then, you can display that data on your own dashboard. I have built this dashboard using PHP and JavaScript. Here, I've added two gauge meters to display the latest temperature and humidity data. You can notice the data is updated in real time. And you do not need to refresh the page to get the latest data. And below, you can also visualize all the latest data in tabular form. You can also use your mobile phone to visualize the temperature and humidity data from anywhere in the world. There are many cloud solutions, both free and paid, that you can use to publish your sensor data. Such as Blink IoT Cloud, or you can say Arduino IoT Cloud. But by building your own dashboard, you have full control of your own system. You can easily customize the dashboard as per your requirements. Also, you can add as many features as you want by just using PHP. Let's talk about the working of this project. You have Node MCU with DHT11 sensor. It is connected to your router and sends the temperature data to your web server. There's the PHP script that store your data in a MySQL database. Then, there is another, JavaScript and PHP script. And this script display the data on web page in such a nice format. Then, you can check your weather station data from anywhere in the world. The project code and related resource files are available on my GitHub account. I will put the download link in the video description. Here, download the project as zip file. And after downloading complete, extract the zip file. Here are the project files. We will use these files later. Next. For this project, you need a web hosting service. For demonstration, I have used award space hosting. And I am using their free plan. This is enough for creating student projects. But I will recommend you to use a paid hosting plan. You can use Hostinger as your hosting provider. It provides all the features that are required for this project, such as PHP and MySQL. Let's move to our free hosting provider. You can log in to your award space dashboard using your Google account. It is totally free and no credit card is required. Here is the dashboard. First, we will create a domain name. For that, go to Hosting Tools and then Domain Manager. Here, click on Create a Free Subdomain. Enter any name for your domain. And then click on Create. You can see the domain is created. You can open it in any web browser. It is the main page for your website. And after completing the project, our dashboard will display here. Now, look at the address bar of the web browser. This is our domain name. You can open it in any web browser. Or you can use your mobile phone's web browser to open your weather station on your mobile phone. Next step is to create MySQL database. For that, go to Hosting Tools and then click on MySQL Databases. Here we will create a new database. I will set the database name tempdb. Then, enter a strong password here. Then, retype the same password. And then click on Create Database. And after a while, the database will be created. Now, copy the database password and save it in some text editor, like Notepad. Similarly, copy the database name and paste it in Notepad. Do the same with database username and database host. Now, I have all the database credentials saved in Notepad. We will use these credentials later in the code. Now, the database is ready. Next, click on PHP My Admin link. Here, I will upload a table for storing the temperature and humidity data. For that, click on Import. Then, choose File and the Select File dialog box will appear. Here, select the SQL file from the project folder that we have downloaded before. And then, scroll down and click on Go button. That's all.
Here you can see, the table is created, this table is used to store the temperature and humidity data, that will send from node MCU project. Next step is to upload the project files. For that, go to file manager. Here, open the subdomain folder. Then, click on upload button and upload files dialog box will appear. Here, click on select files. Here are the project files that we have downloaded in the previous section. Select all the files with PHP extension. And then, click on open. And then, upload. It will take a while. You can see all the files are uploaded. Now, open the config.php file. First, we will enter the database credentials that we have already saved in Notepad. I will enter the host database username database password and an database name. Below, you need to enter your domain name. So, copy your domain name from the web browser. This is the subdomain that we have been created before. Now, paste it here. Make sure, remove extra slash if any. Now, this is the domain name. And next, there is a file, sensordata.php. This file will be used to store sensor data into database. As we have discussed before. Also, node MCU will sense data to this file. So, we will use this whole URL in the Arduino sketch. So, open the Arduino sketch. Scroll down. And here, enter the URL. Next, enter the API key. You can enter any API key for your project. I will set the API key as, hello world. You can set whatever you like, it is up to you. Also, set the same API key in the Arduino sketch. Make sure, the API key must be same in Arduino sketch as well as in the config.php file. These must be same. Press Ctrl plus S to save the config.php file. Now, the web hosting setup is almost ready. Before going next, it is recommended to test the web hosting setup to check if it is working fine or not. For that, open the postdatatest.php file from your web browser. Here, you can insert fake data to the database for testing. Just press this button and the data will be inserted to the database. Let's test it. Go to PHP My Admin Database Manager and just refresh the page. Here, you can see the fake temperature and humidity data that is inserted in the table. It's mean, our web hosting setup is working fine. The circuit for our weather station project is very simple. I have connected the data pin of DHT11 sensor to node MCU pin 3. VCC pin of DHT11 sensor is connected to 3.3 volts pin of node MCU and ground pin to ground. Now, just connect the node MCU to the computer. And go to Arduino IDA. First, you need to install the Node MCU board. And, you can use this URL to install the Node MCU board. Next, you need DHT sensor library. And I have added this link here to install the DHT11 sensor library. Next below, just enter your router's SSID and password. That's all. Now the code is ready. Hit upload button to upload the code to the Node MCU microcontroller. You can use the serial monitor to check the status of data if it is failed or success. Here, the response code 200 means the data is sent to the server successfully. And now, you can visualize your own weather station from anywhere in the world. That's all. This is for today. If you have any question then comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.